In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a car payment. Oh wow, check this thing out y'all. We got this red Mustang here sitting up in Gallatin, Tennessee. 134,000 miles and they only want $4,800 for it. Oh man, that's pretty sweet. I wonder, I wonder what the monthly payments would be on that thing. Well, let's find out. All right, let's say that we go and we um, we pay $4,800 for this Mustang. I, I don't know, I would try to, I'd try to talk the guy down a little bit. Um, and personally, I would, I'd walk in with cash because I don't see the need in financing $4,800. But let's just say for the sake of argument that you wanted to finance this $4,800 and you went to the bank and, and you said, hey, I'd like to buy this, this awesome red Mustang for $4,800. Um, and let's say that the guy at the bank says, "Well, yeah, we'll we'll lend we'll lend you the money, but you're gonna you gotta put a down payment, right?" So you scratch together 500 bucks and you put uh, you put 500 dollars down, and they give you a 10 percent interest rate, which is really not that good. And to be honest with you, if you're buying an older used car and you're making payments on it, you're gonna get hammered on the interest rate. So let's just bump it up to 15 percent. I've seen people with much higher interest rates on on used cars. Um, you tend to get better interest rates on newer ones, but then again, newer cars are a lot more expensive. So, but hey, this is this is a this is a red Mustang, right? It's it's worth the interest rate, right? Let's find out what your payment would be. It's really straightforward. We just type an equal sign and type the PMT function. In another video, I use this same function to show how you would draw payments out of an annuity. Uh, and the thing to remember is that we're just dealing with the stream of payments here. We're trying to find out what the monthly payment is, and you'll make that monthly payment periodically, the exact same monthly payment over a number of years. So it's really no different than the annuity formula. If you open up a textbook and take a look at the monthly payment formula and the monthly annuity formula, they're the same formula. They've just been reworked and done a little bit of algebra so you can get to a, a different purpose. So the rate will be the interest rate. Now the problem with the interest rate we have here is it's a it's an annual rate. Uh, as always, when doing monthly payments, you have to do a monthly rate. So let's type an equal sign and let's click on the interest rate of 15%. And let's divide that by the 12 months in a year. And then hit a comma and we're gonna click on the two years that we're gonna make payments on this red Mustang. And we'll type an asterisk. And, uh, and a 12 to multiply by 12. Then we tap another comma. Now this is going to be tricky, y'all, because we actually are not going to be, um, be borrowing $4,800. We're going to be borrowing $4,300. So either in the formula somewhere or, or elsewhere, we've got, to, um, we've got to reduce this from $4,800 to $4,300. There are any number of ways to do that. We could just do... Um, 4800 minus 500 and close that parenthesis and and let's see what we get oh yeah I just put a straight equal sign in here there we go now it's fixed and we get a number and we get a we get two hundred and eight dollars and I'm gonna leave it negative uh, because I want to show that this is a negative cash flow so you have to pay two hundred and eight dollars every single month and if you're not comfortable with showing it as a negative number that's fine we'll just drop a negative number in front of the payment argument the payment function and now we see that if you were to pay on this thing for two years after putting five hundred dollars down at fifteen percent interest you would end up um, with two hundred and eight dollar uh, a month uh, car payment on your red Mustang and that's it y'all it's that simple calculating a payment is that easy it's just a matter of using the payment function in Excel and understanding what to put in the different arguments of the payment function well alright then I hope that you like this video if you have another way of calculating payments for any type of a loan in Microsoft Excel 
Um, I, I'd like to hear about it in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much for watching.